All right, guys, now that we have an idea of what a droplet is on DigitalOcean, what we're going to do is we're going to review how we can create one. So I'm going to start off with the choose an image, right? So we're going to just stick to distributions. We're going to explore this later on as we proceed with the course. But this basically means just choose an operating system you want to be running on that computer. So um, DigitalOcean just ships with Linux based computers and that too you can see right here. So there's that. In most of the cases you're going to be just opting in for Ubuntu or CentOS because these two li are like the most popular ones. You can also choose Fedora or Debian um, or FreeBSD as for your wish. But yeah, for the most part you can just go with Ubuntu if you have no idea. Now, the second thing is that DigitalOcean asks you to actually choose a plan. Now, what do I mean by choosing a plan? Well, you see that there are basically three, or actually I should say four, categories here. You can see we have the standard category, the general purpose, CPU optimized, and memory optimized. Now, let's just get a little bit into it. I said that you have a computer running somewhere on the internet, right? Now, what happens is that DigitalOcean can allow you to have a very powerful computer, as a matter of fact, or maybe not so powerful computer. And how it can do that is because not not because it owns a lot of computers with a with a kind of uh, you know different feature set, but it can on its own end use virtualization to allot you specific amount of computing power, right? So think of this in this way: DigitalOcean for example, owns a computer which is very, very powerful. Let's say it has got a 100 terabyte of RAM or maybe like, uh, you know, one petabyte of hard disk and around uh, 5,000 cores, right? You can think of it like this way. Now, what DigitalOcean can do is that it can allow you as a developer to take maybe two cores out of it, maybe four cores out of it and uh, 8 GB of RAM and uh, let's say 25 GB of hard disk, stuff like that, and be done with it, right? So it can share the rest of the resources with other people. So that is that is the main thing. So what standard is, standard basically means that whatever computer DigitalOcean provides you, the CPU of that computer is going to be shared across different instances. So what does that mean? That means that if you have a computer under the standard instance, the CPU which is being used can also be used by some other person running the standard instance as well. Well, my take on this one, it kind of performs pretty well as well on its own. In most of the cases, you won't notice any performance hit, but because DigitalOcean says that you are using shared CPUs instead of dedicated CPUs, you can you know, just expect that uh, if you don't get a 100% performance for CPU all the time, that is normal, right? General purpose means that now the CPU which you have is completely yours, right? You 100% own it and nobody can use your CPU so you won't have, you know, less CPU time for your applications running on that computer, right? So yeah general purpose is just a set of computing power options which are like the optimal combinations of uh, cpus and ram which favors um none right so it does not really favors a lot of computing power it does not really favors a lot of ram as well so you see that the first option for general purpose for us is 60 dollars per month for standard, it's $5 per month, and mostly we're going to be looking into that only because it's a pretty decent configuration as well. But I'm just, just taking you through all the options here. So you see $60 per month, we get a 8 GB RAM, two CPUs, which are dedicated CPUs, and a 25 GB hard disk. Well, you can increase that if you want, and 4 TB of data transfer. Now, what does this mean, this 4 TB of data transfer? If you take a look in the standard, you have a 1 TB of data transfer for the lowest instance. And what this means is that uh, when, you, when you create your server online, when you create your website, when somebody visits your website, your server has to send them some data, right? So DigitalOcean's owned server has to communicate 
to your to your clients or to a person or to a visitor's computer using the internet the network so that that actually incurs a cost in maintaining that whole internet infrastructure um, you know the routers in the place the gateways all that stuff so what DigitalOcean does is that it throws you a one terabyte of free data transfer that means you can transfer one terabyte of data from your droplet to any computer not just a single computer this is a net total um, transfer limit right so in net you can transfer a one terabyte of data per month to all the all the visitors of your site and DigitalOcean would take care of that similarly as your data uh, as your instance size increases DigitalOcean also increases the uh, data transfer limit so you get a free transfer limit limit for this and mind you this is the free limit right so 4 TB is a free limit you can obviously ex uh, exceed this and DigitalOcean would charge you normally for the excessive amount of data transfer so this is like the free bundled limit then we have the CPU optimized performance which means that you have more CPUs um, to the RAM ratio right so we can put it in this way if you take a look at general general purpose ratio you have 2 by 8 that is 1 by 4 we have 4 by 16 that is again 1 by 4 we have 8 by 32 again 1 by 4 we have 16 by 64 1 by 4 again and this is also 1 by 4 and this is also 1 by 4 so in general purpose you see the ratio is 1 by 4 for every CPU core you have 4 GB of RAM for CPU optimized however the ratio is 1 by 2 for every CPU you have 2 GB of RAM well one way of putting that is that the RAM is reduced another way of putting that is that the CPU count is increased right so what DigitalOcean does is that some jobs are compute uh, are you know just CPU extensive they, they do not require a lot of memory for example video transcoding using FFmpeg is one of the examples which comes to my mind it does not need a lot of RAM but it needs a lot of computing power it's hungry for computing power right so in that case you might want to opt in for a CPU optimized performance instead of general purpose right for example if you hop in for this one this is cheaper as well as you know you don't even need the 8 GB of RAM which is offered in general purpose so there's that memory optimized is again you can see the ratio is 1 by 8 here so memory optimized means that you have more RAM per CPU core so that's the idea right and uh, yeah I mean if there are some applications which are RAM extensive for example um, mostly if you're working with a lot of data which needs to be highly accessible by the software so you cannot use the swap area so you're gonna want a lot of RAM to be available right because RAM is a very fast memory so yeah in that case you're gonna be opting in for memory optimized stuff not the CPU optimized or just general purpose so just to give you an overview again what we discussed standard plans means that your CPU is going to be shared across the instances the other instances running on the DigitalOcean platform in a lot of cases it's a good thing it's a good way to go right and it, you can see it has all those code plans reaching up to 960 dollars per month so you know they are not messing around here it's serious stuff and yeah it's in, in a lot of cases this is a good option general purpose means that you have an optimal 1 by 4 ratio of CPU to RAM and uh, yeah kind of good for hosting a site or something you can see that description a little bit of description here too cpu optimized just like i said is for more applica is for applications which are more cpu intensive and hungry for the cpu time and are optimized for multi-threaded stuff like that memory optimized are the instances which are memory hungry for example data analysis and all that stuff so yeah this was a little bit of introduction on how the plants work in DigitalOcean for the most part for this whole series I'm going going to be sticking with the $5 instance because it's cheap it's get it gets the work done and it's good so yeah that's all for this video I'm gonna see you very soon in the next one